saw you notice in the Dr. Elmore Lee. Paul, you're right about the plate. Interesting. It's all a paint. Looks sturdy. Doubt I'll be opening this. Oh, wow. I can't believe I guessed the combination. I must be so. Of genius. I need the key. Like, this must be the this looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French quarter, but it's broken and missing some pieces. The beautiful room. Hmm, are these zodiac signs? Well, I need to remember. <sighs> There's some aggressive looking rot on these paintings. Starday Artist Colony, I'm pretty sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a child. Everything's back to normal. I need the key.
Good evening, Miss Hartwood. That is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth. Ruth Talon. Is that Perrique you're smoking? <laughs> How terribly quaint. Maybe so. But I like it. Would you care to share some? That smell is making me feel very nostalgic. Is it all that you hope for? I enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. How flattering. Too bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> your insincerity is really refreshing. I wish you were mad as I am, then you could stay. Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. <laughs> oh good, I'll be looking forward to it. You don't know anything about what happened to Jeremy, do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have anything useful to share. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. Bon voyage. Lost Plantation. Are you reading anything good? A Brightness from Afar by Lord Boleskin? It's actually not bad. You know where Detective Carnby is? Oh, you don't need him. You're doing fine. I should probably go. Until next time, Cherie. <sighs> now this'll come in handy. What's happening? We are we Mumfra mi sa ki nan pek mo 
Mende an jeni, man man yo de shena. What are you doing sneaking around? You almost scared me to death. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice at a place like this. The doctor may be all about science, but I know these roots have power. Do you know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetta was cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. It's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Harwood. I really mean that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gombo. What's that? <sighs> it worked. Hmm, what's this? There we go. I've seen this somewhere. Did it break? The clock just stopped. Showing me something. That's just the hallway outside Jeremy's room, isn't it? Another dream. <clears throat> Me. 
May 19. I need the key. this like
a way to get to the other side. Mount Jeremy mentioned in his book. Jeremy, you dropped your... <gasps> Mrs. Marcus? Get off of me! What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle? Could you please? Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Bois. I met your brother, Batiste, earlier. I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Fine. Believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. We have to leave before it comes inside. What? Where? Come quick. Hello. Reflections on the power of the verb. It's wet shut. It worked. 
The bar lo I don't have everything I need. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It worked. Do you teach piano as well? Huh? You're a governess. Did you teach those clawing Casano kids how to play the piano? How do you know about that? Just because grown-ups don't notice children doesn't mean we don't notice you. Yes. I taught them some piano. Are you any good at it? Not good enough to play a broken one. It fell from the attic. Brought half the ceiling down. It was Jeremy's fault, wasn't it? Nobody knows what happened. But you're not wrong. of the syringe hadn't hurt as much as the humiliation of
there's more of that unsettling rot. On the commonplace of e Come on, Grace. I'm too tired for games. I'll even let's play with my jackknife. Oh, good evening. <laughs> you haven't seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Uh, you would have known if you did. The only kid crazy enough to be in this place. She's not in her room, then? <laughs> that would be a first. Always running around causing trouble. She's very hard to pin down, that one. You want to see up? I'm good, thank you. Well, I should be going then. <clears throat> Unless there's anything you need from me. I just want to find my uncle before anything happens to him. Oh, don't worry, miss. He'll show up. <laughs> he is much too lily-livered to kill himself. Why would he? <laughs> it's his greatest ambition, didn't you know? Take care now. There's something missing. So this is Grace's room. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game. Cute. This must be the great Cassandra. The Beauregard's room. I'm not sure what I expected. Maybe something more extravagant? Miss Beauregard. <sighs> What's that? Let's write this down. <sighs> I think I've seen this somewhere.
another one of those pleats for the talisman. It's also broken and missing something. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that was... Guess this works too? a dead body here did i just imagine that Talisman is showing another wound. Something is open. 